don't you hate it when you think you've got it figured out? Then they change the rules. 30 years ago, when I had my first child, the doctor told us the baby should sleep on his stomach. The recommendation changed with our second child and again with the third. And now that those children are having children of their own, I'm asking why? To be clear, the current recommendation is to place your newborn on its back. At one time, doctors feared that position would lead a baby to choke if its body rejected its latest meal. The medical term is reflux. That fear led doctors to suggest you place your baby on its tummy. But doctors noticed a rise in the cases of sudden infant death syndrome. Two or three decades worth of data that tells us that babies that sleep on their stomachs have twice the risk of SIDS. Initially, the recommendation changed to placing a baby on its side or back, but doctors quickly discovered placing a child on its side didn't help with SIDS. So the National Institute of Child Health began its back to sleep campaign. Babies need to sleep on their backs. Research helped doctors conclude the risk of choking is low if a child is on its back. In that position, the windpipe is on top of the food pipe. Doctors concluded when the position's reversed with the food pipe on top, choking is more likely. There are other risks when a child sleeps on its stomach. It may have something to do with air circulation around the baby's nose and mouth. According to the CDC, the cases of sudden infant deaths have declined considerably since doctors began advising parents to place their child in the crib face up.